Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how to basically control any blend shape on your avatar via the uh, the 3.0 menu. So you can use this to either make your avatar more bigger or you can use any facial expressions or if, if your avatar has something interesting in the blend shapes to turn on, maybe some facial different faces or to make it chubbier. It's really easy to do, so let me show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select your avatar and in the controller, if you don't see an FX controller, scroll down, extend uh, playable layers right here, and then select this FX controller. And you're going to drag this controller into here. Now double click it and you're going to create a plus and we're going to create a parameter and it's going to be float. Scroll down and you're going to uh, name it uh, whatever the thing that you're trying to make a blend shape for. Uh, copy this name because you're going to need it. Next, we're going to create the actual animation. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your avatar selected and then in an animation here, uh, you want to select this window here, scroll all the way down and until you see create new clip. Once you create a new clip, just name it the same as your blend shape. And now what you're doing is you're going to hit play. So your avatar goes into the play mode. So now, now what you're going to do is you want to double click your avatar so that it's orange. And now uh, extend blend shapes here. And now you're going to go ahead and find uh, whatever blend shape you're trying to uh, toggle on. In my case, it's the chubby. So I just, uh, so the first thing you do is you drag the slider to the right and then back to the left side. And now in this little window here, you want to type in 100. And now what you're doing is you're going to move the slider to the right and you're going to leave it on the right side. And once you've done that, just hit this red button again and preview. Go ahead and find your animation. Uh, you can just type it in here or it should be in your assets. But if you cannot find it, just type it here. Head over to animator. And now uh, what you're going to do is you're going to let's go create a layer. Go plus, scroll down, uh, call it the same name as everywhere else and hit on this little uh, hit on the, click this little gear here and move it to the way to one. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and find your uh, parameter and your layer. You're going to drag that animation into here. Uh, on this little window here where it says motion time, you want to hit the parameter and then this little window here selected that it's your animation that you created. Also, be sure to select the actual animation and tick off loop time. After you've done that, select your avatar, scroll down, find the parameters and you're going to add a parameter, call it the same name, and make sure that it says float here. Also, tick this little box here because uh, this is what's going to keep your uh, blend shape on. So let's say if you switch VRChat worlds, uh, it's not going to reset your blend shape to the default. You want to find your uh, menu, expression menu. So you select the avatar, scroll down, and select the expression menu. You want to add an expression menu, call it the same name. Uh, in type, it's ragdoll puppet. Uh, ignore the first parameter window, but the second parameter window, you're going to select it and select your animation. Just scroll down and it should be at the bottom. Before uploading your avatar, select your avatar and then in the controller, just remove it. So select it and press none. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.